Okay, uh, problem eight says for a concert, 200 tickets were sold for 2x dollars each, 300 tickets for 3x dollars each, and 400 tickets were sold for 4x dollars each. Which expression represents the to total dollar amount from the sale of all 900 tickets? Well, let's say it was 200 tickets for $2 each. Then the total amount from this would be 200 times $2, which is uh, uh, $400. 200 tickets at $2 each would be $400, and you would continue on. Well, instead of being $2, it's 2x dollars. So 200 times 2x is 400x, 300 times 3x is 900x, and 400 times 4x is 1,600x, and you take 1,600x plus 900x plus 400x, you'll get 2,900x. So the answer to that is D. On problem number nine, this is a different type of problem. It says... If both x and y are positive integers, so what are we talking about positive integers? Well, greater than zero, like one, two, three, four, five. How many different values can x have? Well, let's take a look at this. Our equation is uh, x plus uh, uh, 3y equals 15. Now, these have to have uh, positive values, and it's saying how many different values can x be? that this has a solution. Well, y has to be positive, too. So let's say y is 1. If y was 1, we would get the equation x plus 3 times 1, or 3, equals 15. And this one gives me a positive solution for x. It would be 12. If y would be 2, we would have x plus 2 times 3, or 6, equals 15. And this one has a positive solution for x of 9. If we let y be 3, We'd have 3 times 3 is 9, so we'd have x plus, sorry, that should be plus right there, x plus um, uh, 3 times 3 is 9 equals 15. So we, this also has a positive solution. And if we let y be 4, we'd have x plus uh, 4 times 3 is 12 equals 15, and this has a positive solution. So these four has po have positive solutions. Now you might say, well, why don't you let y be 0? because it said it had to be positive. Why don't you let y be a half? Because it said it had to be an integer, which is a, uh, a positive integer is a, is a, is the, belongs to the set 1, 2, 3, the counting numbers, okay? Now, what about if you let y be 5? Well, if you let y be 5, we've done 1, 2, 3, and 4, and if you let y be 5, we would have x plus 5 times 3 is 15 equals 15, and the solution to this would be x equals 0. Well, that's not a positive number, so I don't get anything good out of this one. This is not uh, a positive answer for x. So how many values of y would give you positive answers for x? Four of them. So the answer to this is four, and that's answer D on problem number nine. Let's go ahead on to uh, problem uh, 10, and problem 10 is the square root of this mess of stuff right there. So let me go ahead and write that up. It's the square root, and this is problem number uh, 10 we're on here, of the third placement test. And it says 63, square root is 63, x to the 27th, y to the 6th, and all that, still underneath the square root, is 7x to the 11th, y to the 2nd. Looks terrible. But uh, we can do this. Here's what you need to do. Is first of all, simplify what's underneath the uh, 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 square root and everything. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. That's nice because the square root of 9 is 3. Now when you divide, you subtract your exponents. And 27 minus 11 is 16. So that would be x to the 16th. And then subtract the 6 minus 2 is 4. Now just take the square root. Square root of 9 is 3. That's the easy part. Now, what's the square root of x to the 16th? Well, square root is the same as the 1 half power, and 1 half of 16 is 8, so that would be x to the 8th, and 1 half of 4 is 2. So the answer is 3x to the 8th, y to the 2nd. And the way we knew that is knowing your rules for exponents here, also knowing that square root is the 1 half power, and 1 half power, when you take 16, when you have powers raised to powers, you multiply, and 1 half of 16 is 8, 1 half of 4 is 2, because the square root is the 1 half power. Okay, let's go on to uh, problem 11. And problem 11 says the ordered pair xy, which is the point 3, negative 4, 
as a solution to this equation kx minus y equals 16, what is the value of k? Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. It says the point that we're given on problem 11 here is the point uh, 3, uh, let me find it here, it's the point 3, negative 4, and see that's an x and that's a y. And what would k be on this equation then? K x minus y equals 16. Well, just substitute in this for x and this for y, and you'll be able to figure out what k is. So x is 3, so I have k times 3, or in other words, 3k minus y. Well, what's y? A minus 4. So minus a minus 4 equals 16. Now just solve this. This is 3k minus a minus 4 is plus 4 equals 16. And now what I'm going to do is subtract 4 from both sides to get 3k equals 12. Divide through by 3, and I get k equals 4. And so k equals 4 is the answer to that, and that would be answer C. On problem 12, we have uh, 2x over 3 um, minus 3y over 5, and we're supposed to simplify this thing. So all we need to do here is get a common denominator. That's a y right there. Get a common denominator. The common denominator is 15. So let me write a 15 right here. And we just say 3 goes into 15 5 times. 5 times 2x is 10x minus, from right here. Now 5 goes into 15 3 times. 3 times 3y is 9y. And that would be the answer to problem 12. 10x minus 9y over 15. And if we check, that's answer, uh, let's see, answer A on that one. And that's all uh, the questions that you'll get on the elementary algebra section of the test is 12 questions. And if you get about six of those right, or maybe seven of those right, you'll move on to the CLM section, the college level math section. But if you do get six or seven right on the previous uh, section, then uh, you'll at least qualify for Math 93 or 105. And if you can get the same amount on this test correct, you'll qualify for Math 102 and Math 119, and at a higher level, getting more correct, will qualify you for uh, uh, Math 120, which is pre-calculus 2, or maybe even calculus. But uh, to qualify for Math 102, you'll need to get about seven of these correct. Now, there's 20 questions on this, this section, and we'll hit this on the next video.